Hey guys, Shelly Brownick here with Seb Fishing. Thanks for tuning in today. I'm going ahead and doing a three part series for this particular segment. I'll be showing you my top three favorite Saint Boy rods, my top three favorite rods overall actually. The videos will be in order of cheapest rod to most expensive rod and through each video I'll be going over the specs and going into detail about what I like about it personally and what models I have used and what I have used the rod for technique wise. I hope this video provides a little insight for those of you who are looking for a new rod, a new Saint Croix rod, or are unsure of what rod they want to get next. After a couple years of figuring out what I like as far as bass fishing and using rods and bait casters, this is what I've compiled as my top three favorite. I don't know how well will the work for you and this video is basically just a comp compilation of suggestions. So with that being said, just like all the other pros out there, just like all the other YouTubers out there who make videos on their favorite rods, what I may show you in this video may not work for you. The best thing is to go to your local tackle shop, bass pro shop, and try them out for yourself. Get a feel for them. With that being said, our first video is going to be on the Triumph X. This particular model I'm holding in my hand right now is a 7 foot medium power rod with a fast action tip. I've used the Triumph X series for worms, spinner baits, crank baits of all sizes. Personal favorites about this rod is that beautiful orange color that's really kind of unique looking out on the water. Along with this, the strength behind this rod does not interfere with the lightness and vice versa. And that's something that I really appreciate in any rod that I might have in my selection. Beginning cost for this rod comes in at about 80 to 100 bucks depending on where you purchase it. The Triumph X comes in several different models, several different techniques, and all of them contain the SC2 graphite, which basically has a higher strain of fibers compared to other rod companies out there. This particular graphite allows for the fisherman to experience a lightweight rod, a strong rod, as well as a sensitive one for just an ultimate combination of fishability. It features hard aluminum oxide guides with black frames, as well as a split grip EVA foam handle. It also has a five year warranty backed by St. Croix Superstar Service. Overall, the experience you'll have with this rod is something very lightweight, strong, and able to withstand tournament fishing and plenty of days out there on the water during the year. I've been using this rod for about two years now, have not had one guide slip on me yet. I haven't had any breaks in the rod, no problems with the foam coming off as some rods do near the handle. It is truly designed for those who are looking for a great rod within a reasonable price range. It's great for those who are beginning fishing and looking for something not so expensive. And even for tournament fishermen such as myself just looking for somewhat of a reasonably priced rod. With the Triumph X by St. Croix, you're able to get dependability with a really nice cost and price range off. Like I've said, I've had my fair share of great experiences with it using crank baits, spinner baits, as well as worms, and I highly recommend you guys getting one of these for those applications. Thanks guys a lot for watching, and I hope you check out this rod at stcroix.com, tacklewarehouse.com, or anywhere you can find bait casters or St. Croix rods. The next rod featured in this three-part series will be posted soon, so keep a lookout for that. We'll be reviewing and showing you guys the Mojo Bass Rod by St. Croix next. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, give me some feedback on what you think. This is Shelby Bowden with Seb Fishing, sign out with you guys. You guys have a great day.